I knew it. I said, I have to sneeze, and it was going to come out on television, and there it is. God bless you. Thank you. What a way to start the show. And what a way to start. I was like, it's coming, Irene. It's coming. And then there it was. It was right on cue. Welcome to Great Day at 9, everybody. I'm Scott Haney. And I'm Irene O'Connor in for Nicole while she's on vacation. Oh, it, is Friday. it is Friday. We made it to Friday. I'm sneezing my way through the show. All right, let's talk weather. Hey, we had some right. rain this morning, even a little bit of mixed precipitation in parts of northwest Connecticut. You can still see a little bit of purple up there. So a couple of snowflakes mixing in, but it's not sticking to the roads. Basically, the roads are just wet this morning. So if you're heading out and about, you can see we do have some showers pushing through central Connecticut. They're going to be gone in about two to three hours. I said by about 11 o'clock noontime today, the showers would be wrapping up, and that's exactly what's going to happen. So future cast tomorrow's weather today, <coughs> excuse me, shows partly cloudy skies by about 4 p.m. for parts of the state. So we might actually see a beautiful sunset. And then tomorrow is just uh, tonight it's partly to mostly cloudy. You'll see some clouds hanging around. And then tomorrow the clouds fade away. It's a beautiful sunny day, but windy and blustery. So for the rest of today, we're talking about temperatures in the mid 40s with mostly cloudy skies. Notice the rain icons go away. And then your three day forecast, blustery, feeling colder tomorrow. And then a little bit of a rebound on Sunday. And Irene, by next week, we're talking about temperatures in the 50s each and every day. I love it. Me I can't too. wait. Me too. I'm ready for the bulbs to start coming up. I'm ready. My mother's daffodils are already starting to pop. Really? Yep, in Long Island. That's so amazing. They tend to that's kind of early. Yeah, yeah so that's kind of early. All right, Michelle Traconis' defense team could rest in this case as early as today. Now, yesterday, they spent a lot of time questioning a memory expert. Professor Elizabeth Loftus testified memory fades over time and stress and sleep deprivation make memory worse. She says that could have played a big part in inconsistencies during police interviews with Michelle Chaconis. Our Channel 3 crew will be back in the courtroom today when it picks up again around 10 a.m. All right, you can watch it all on live on WFSB Plus. I, yep. have, I have not been following the case like some people have been following yes. the case, but I have been following the case, ca catching the snippets and the headlines. Yes, snippets and the headlines. So many people are really interested in what's going to go on yeah. with this case. Of course, a local case, but, you know, the whole... All of the testimony has been really interesting. It got a little so. testy yesterday. The yes. judge had to say, we're going to go into a little recess yep. here. Yep, and you can watch it all. Um, you know, it's going to be Plus. all on WFFB+. Plus. Yep. All right, adding solar panels to your home can save you money on your monthly electric bill. But realtors say it may cost you down the line. Yeah, as our week-long iTeam series on going solar wraps up, consumer investigative reporter Cassie Williams has been digging into all things solar. She finds out how solar can impact home prices. Hmm. Like all things with solar, the answer is complicated, but right now the numbers show solar isn't adding value for home buyers. Ask people if they would be more or less likely to buy a home with solar panels. I would want to buy a house with the solar panels on it. It just because it saves money. I certainly would be more inclined to buy a house with solar panels. But when you start asking follow-ups, you learn there are caveats. Definitely would have to be owned. I wouldn't want to lease. Well, definitely the way how it looks and how it appears definitely will, um, will affect my opinion on purchasing. Those are the kind of answers Paul Levey Ostop has been hearing too. She's a realtor and team leader at William Ravis Real Estate. She says the data is clear. Solar installations are not increasing home values. You're not going to see the benefit. Not in our market, not today. FAOSTA pulled data from the Multiple Listing Service, or MLS. It's a database for realtors. In 2023, 244 homes in Hartford County were marketed in the MLS as having solar. That's 3% of homes sold last year. The average sales price of a home with solar was $432,104. The average sales price of a home without solar was $480,530. That's an almost $50,000 difference. We don't have buyers in our market seeking homes with solar. If they see that the home has solar and it's owned, that's fine, but it's not something that they're specifically looking for. She says there are two things that will make a buyer more open to solar. First is the location. She says buyers prefer when panels are on the back of the home so they don't impact curb appeal. You definitely see more of an impact if they're at the front of the home. Buffet Ostop says the biggest factor 
is who owns the panels? Well, the first question we always ask when we're selling a house with solar is if they're owned or leased. Because if they own the solar panels, that makes it much easier to market the property to potential buyers. If a buyer has to take over a solar lease, the lease has to be transferred before closing on the home. That puts the buyer at potential risk. You're essentially owning a portion of the home before you actually own the home. So it's unlikely that there would be a challenge that close to the closing date, but there are some things that we would encourage people to review with their attorneys just to make sure they're not at any unnecessary risk. It's all something to think about before you sign a contract. The bright future of solar can depend on who is looking. Theo Stop says this could all change, of course, as attitudes change with time. There are many other things you should consider before signing a solar contract. You can find all five parts of our Going Solar series on the WFSB app. For the I team, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Wow, so interesting. The whole series, yeah, the whole series has been very interesting. Well done. I didn't even know that some of them were leased and, and some owned. of them were owned. Yeah, exactly. That's amazing. I mean, I must get like four calls a week for, people, you, for people offering, offering solar? solar. I have to say, I think it's pretty interesting. I mean, as far as, you know, environmentally mm -hmm. uh, sound and, you know, saving money. Yep. But, you know, I don't know. I get a lot uh, of the mail, uh, the, the mail kits. They, mm -hmm. they come in the mail. Like a lot of mail yeah. is coming to my house about yeah. solar. So yeah. I, it's uh, interesting. I have to say it's interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. All right, what's coming up? All right, three.